Hi, and welcome to my channel. This is KB, we're saving 101, and I'm KB, Kim Baker. If this is your first time visiting my channel, then welcome. I am a lifetime thrifter. I am a reseller on the Poshmark app, along with some other new platforms, and I send boxes into ThreadUp. So if you are interested in reseller content, tips and tricks and haul videos, then do me a favor and think about hitting that subscribe button down below because it will really help me out. Today happens to be Thread Up Tuesday. So you're going to get my week's rundown of Thread Up. All right. So we're going to dive in. Let's see. I'm going to tell you I had one item that sold. Um, I had one item that sold and that box has been in for over, was in for over 18 days and um, the item was pulled for a goodie bag. It was a pair of Spanx crop pants and I received $43.60 as a payout. Woohoo! Now I did have somebody ask me on my Instagram, how do you know it's for a goodie bag? Well, when you look at the item, it'll say sold. When you look on your kit, it'll say unavailable. And then once it's actually shipped out, it'll go from unavailable straight down to your solds and you will receive an immediate payout. So that's how you can tell if your item was for a goodie bag. If it's not for a goodie bag, the item usually says sold and sold. And then what happens is it goes down to the waiting period of the 45 days in the box. And then once those 45 days has passed, then it drops down to your sold. So there's like a, a, a just two boxes that go down below. Um, and that's how they kind of have it. Um, if you have any other questions, then maybe you can leave them down below. Uh, my videos are usually about two to three weeks in advance. So uh, I apologize if you're already seeing this on my Instagram posts or whatever, but giving you the rundown. Um, so I did have a box that was checked in. Um, but before I go into my checked in box, I am going to go into uh, something we haven't talked about, which is the referral program. Um, because it is a really nice program, I am super excited that they chose me because I have not been on it since... I don't even know. I think March was my first box I sent in, maybe. Uh, maybe. Anyway, so um, I find actually my app is way easier than looking on the computer. So I apologize, but I'm going to use it. So you can go to your, um, your selling or whatever, your account, and then you go to your rewards. Rewards. Okay, so... Let's go to, I just did that and I screwed up. All right, so rewards. All right, so you can use 354 free shipping, which I utilize to receive my items back that um, have not arrived yet from um, an expired um, expired listings. And uh, you can receive 15% uh, off handbags when you use 350 points. You can receive 675, or no, receive, I'm sorry, utilize 675 to waive restocking fees. And you can use 1,000 points to get $10 off of your um, order. Now they also have earn. So earning points, it's actually kind of easy and it makes your, I have to pay for my items that are rejected or that don't sell, come back to me. A lot easier to swallow okay seriously because all right so when you make a purchase you earn 10 points for every dollar you spend you earn a hundred points when you visit daily um, visit thread up 15 days out of the month and you'll earn a magic 100 points okay um, 500 points for every clean out kit so when you send in a clean out kit you're getting 500 points and if that is free shipping, I know shipping on purchased items is a lot less than shipping your rejected items back. So I don't know how that's going to work yet. But my plan is to send um, four boxes and at the same time. Two are going to be Lux and two are going to be regular um, as an experimental to see how long each one's going to take and exactly what that process is doing because right now 
they're saying 14 weeks, which is a really long time. And I'm going to have a few videos for you for a while because I actually had three boxes here waiting to all go out at the same time. So, um, yeah, that's kind of a bummer. Anyway, my fault, my bad. Um, from there, you know, uh, I did have a box checked in. So my box got checked in and of course I go through, I like all my items so I can track and follow them very easily, especially on the app. You can just slide and see if it's in somebody's cart or whatnot. Um, I didn't catch until the weekend that I had two items mismarked. All right, my two items that were mismarked, I did go through and contact them. Um, now you, if you contact them by email, they say that it's like 10 days to respond, um, which is too long when you're dealing with that type of a situation. If you're dealing with like a credit of something, you know, that's already passed, it's already happened to me, that's okay. But when I'm dealing with items that are going to be selling, um, not the way to go. So you wait until they have their chat open, which is, and I don't know, I think it's California time because they are a California based company, I believe, even though they have stores all over the place. Um, but they have like a, I don't know, nine to four or something um, chat that you can do on your app or also on the actual website. I choose to go through my app again. Um, so I contacted them this morning. Uh, I let them know that I had two mismarked items. One item they had marked as Jim Dandy as a dress. I've never heard of Jim Dandy, but I'm going to get like two bucks for that thing. Not happening. Um, I literally actually watched my boxing up video to figure out which dress it was. So you guys might laugh or you might not even watch those, but guess what? They're super useful for me. <laughs> and it ended up being a Danny and Nicole dress. So I let them know that that was mismarked. Um, I also had my Lux item, which was a Calvin Klein. Um, and it, 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 well, it's listed as a Calvin Klein, but it's Calvin Klein collection. 100% cashmere. So I notified them of that. Um, and within 15 minutes, I did get a response and they are taking care of it. Now, while they're taking care of it, it says sold in one spot and unavailable in another spot, but I know that they're going through and they're investigating those two items. Okay. So know that when you go, when you put something in and they're going to review it, that's what they're going to do. All right. Um, let's see. Uh, if you haven't heard, uh, walmart.com has gone through and came up with a little, I don't know if you call it marriage or what you want to call it, but thread up is going to list their like new items on walmart.com. Um, yeah, great. More eyes. The only thing is, is, uh, we'll have to wait and see how everything turns out because, uh, the article that I read said that they will take returns in the Walmart store, which Walmart currently is not taking returns. Thread Up currently has a 45 day return window. So a lot of interesting things, but in case you hadn't heard, there you go. Another reason to be sending in. Um, so with that box that I sent in, I'm gonna show you the items that were rejected. Oh, and by the way, in order for those items not to be sold, of course, I went on and put those two items that needed to be corrected into my shopping cart so that nobody else could buy them at the price that they weren't worth. So there you go. All right, let's jump into what they did not accept out of this box. All right, so this happens to be a London Times. It is really super cute. It is perfect for summer. I don't know. Um, this little swing shift dress with this necklace Kala in these beautiful colors. And I'm sure I'm gonna send it back in. Uh, this is a Christopher and Banks petite size large. I'm still in question whether they like petites or not. This is really funky. It is this like camouflage, check that out, like a camouflage and has a gold reflectant. Can you see the gold reflectant? Somewhat, sorry. It has a gold reflectant um, iridescence to it. It is really cool. It's a zip up jacket. That was rejected. Um, what's kind of funny is I had a black, or I think the other black, I think they're black. Um, the skirt, they accepted. The jacket, they did not. So 
<laughs> here's the jacket. Um, it is an Ann Taylor. This one's a 10P. Um, again, a petite. And it has this um, exposed stitching, which almost gives it like a little bit of a Western flair to it. Um, a little bit of detailing in the back. So um, I'll probably send that back in. Uh, they did not accept this White House Black Market, which has a tie to it, but does not have any tie loops. So um, go figure. I don't know why. Maybe because it doesn't have the tie loops this time, but it had the tie. Um, but it is this like um, short sleeved. Uh, sorry, you can't really see the neckline on it. V neck. Well, it's a mock crisscross. Um, dress, midi dress, and um, very nice and stretchy, so nice weight, but they did not accept that. They did not accept my um, Amanda and Chelsea size 10 dress pants with like a flat front, faux pockets, and belt loops, straight legged. Okay. They did not accept another Ann Taylor loft size 14 tan skirt nice size too um plain the back has like a double slit detailing in the back so it almost has like a little western flair to me uh so i'll probably send that back in this one i was really disappointed because they really value this brand really high this is philosophy and it's an extra small it is like the sleeve lum with this little um it's a lace overlay and a little peplum exposed back zipper top and they did not accept my fossil leather bag cute small i'll list it in my closet um and they did not accept my bb um sneakers so I'll list these in my closet. I think they'll sell pretty quick. Um, anyway, I had like 10 items that came back to me and the box had 36. So yeah, so like 26 were accepted. I think 10 or nine or whatever wasn't. Um, yeah, and that's the rundown of uh, what's happening this week. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them down below. If you don't, you can follow me on Instagram. You'll get the information a lot faster. But I will tell you these videos are helping me out if they're not helping you out. So <laughs> until next time, guys.